full name is Mrs. Shakira Petit. Um, it's my married name. I'm from the Bronx, New York. I teach in Harlem. Um, I teach middle school science at the Promise Academy, which is right um, on 125th of Madison in New York. I teach them physics, chemistry, life science, and earth science. What brings me to Antarctica is Dr. Stephen Picard, a professor at Queens College and Columbia University. He has an expedition that he's actually leading this year. We're gathering geoseismic data for his proposed line where he wants to drill. This year he decided that as an educational component, he would like a middle school science teacher to come down and teach from the ice through video conferences as well as audio conferences. Have you ever been to Antarctica before? No, this is my first time. I've been here for about a day now. <laughs> it's officially been one day. So what made you want to come to Antarctica? It had to be my kids. I think this would be the best example for them to pursue any and everything. This is a very foreboding place. This is not exactly Tahiti or Hawaii. It's, it's very cold, it's very dry, it's a very tough environment. And I wanted to show my kids that if you want to, you can do anything, go any place and be anything that you want. You just have to set that as a goal for yourself. And this is a goal for me because I don't like cold weather. So I'm in the perfect place to face that fear. What is the background that got you here? I have a background in biology and psychology, and I kind of fell into teaching um, while pursuing medicine, actually. I actually wanted to become a doctor when I was in college, and I took some time in between um, finishing my bachelor's and applying to graduate in medical programs, and I did kind of a stint as a substitute teacher in North Public Schools in New Jersey. And what I found was that it came naturally to me teaching, particularly teaching science, and it was something that spiritually I was led to and it was something that I just kind of naturally fit into so here I am. <laughs> I, I, I will be a doctor in some capacity soon but um, I think teaching is really where my heart is right now. Now to a young person who may wonder if they're up for this, if they're capable mm -hmm. of this, what would you say to them? You are absolutely capable of this. I am five foot six, 127 pounds, <laughs> and the coat is bigger than I am. So you are absolutely capable and able um, to live here, to be here, to work here. What, what the fascinating thing that I found was that there are people here from all walks of life. There are engineers here, there are teachers here, there are scientists here, there are cooks here, there are program managers here, there are health aides here. So you can be anything in this type of community. It's not just the scientists that's drawn to Antarctica, it's people of all walks of life, blue collar, white collar, in between. Here's Antarctica, as she, as she is now, and we're here around McMurdo Station. And we're actually going to be traveling out um, to get geoseismic data to figure out what's the best place to drill. The purpose of our project is to find sediments that date back about 30 to 35 million years to the greenhouse world, when Antarctica was this beautiful, lush forest, as opposed to this icy desert dry place that you have now. So once we can find the best place to drill for those sediments, they'll pull out those sediments and do some comparing, contrasting on the CO2 levels in the sediments, you know, the different chemical signatures that are in the sediments, and be able to really figure out what caused Antarctica to go into a greenhouse world, and then get some clue on how it began to ice over, and it's still ice over, as you can see. I am looking forward to the experience on the ice and, and meeting these kids from all over the country. That's definitely exciting for me.